Hey everybody, it's Goddess Jillian and I'm in my infrared sauna trying to detox from all the anxiety that I've been feeling lately. Um, as somebody that practices meditation and understands vibrations and how anxiety and fear and anger and hate and all these things can really bring your vibration down, I've been struggling. And I'll tell you why. I usually, first of all, let me just say, I usually don't bring politics into my vlogs or any of my posts. Maybe a little. <laughs> I thought and meditated long and hard about if I should say anything and if so, what I should say. And if any of you remember, I had a whole vlog about narcissists and sociopaths and um, these are seriously scary mental illnesses and when you have somebody that is both a narcissist and a sociopath, this is a dangerous person. This is like serial killer level dangerous. This is a, a person who is going to hurt you for pleasure with no remorse and no conscience. This person also thinks that they're entitled to do so, which is even more gnarly and scary. And these illnesses, and they are mental illnesses, are not curable, okay? They're not. And what we're dealing with is that exact mental illness in our White House. Now, I am not particularly fond of either party because I think anything the extreme is extreme and it would be great if there was a moderate party <laughs> but what is going on right now has nothing to do with politics it has to do with mental illness serious mental illness and also the ripping apart of our democracy and that is what America is founded on democracy where the people have a say because when the original founders came here from England, it was because they were feeling put upon by their leaders. And so here we are, 200 whatever years later, and we're in a dictatorship with a, a malignant narcissist. And a malignant narcissist is somebody that if you invite them into your home and then you realize, holy cow, I'm, I'm here with a monster, and you tell them to leave, they're going to burn down your house while they're leaving. Okay? This is the type of mentality that somebody like this has. So, there's no... I mean, this was expected. If you knew this diagnosis, you would say, oh yeah, he's never leaving. He's not going to leave. He's going to have to be forcibly removed. And while he's going out, he's going to spray toxicity over our entire country. And that's what we're dealing with. And it is really keeping an already beleaguered nation in the lowest vibrational state maybe if ever that we've been in in our whole entire time as a country. It's not that long, by the way. So what do we do? I have no idea. I mean, donate if you can. Protest peacefully if you feel safe. That's a really big if, right? Speak out on social media. Try to make people aware that refuse to see the truth. And this is the other thing I wanted to say, and I was trying to decide if I even should talk about this, but I do readings all the time. And about two years ago, I started seeing, when I saw my third eye, that's how I read, I see through my third eye, I started seeing people's darknesses. I started seeing the darkness in people. And sometimes it would just look like um, a dark shadow inside. But then it started really becoming clear that a lot of these people had dark attachments or entities that literally sucked their life force and lived off of them like a, like a parasite, right? And it kind of freaks me out at first. <laughs> There's a whole long story behind it because it was like, oh God, I don't want to look at that, right? And so... Um, Somebody even said, can't you help people get rid of that? No, I don't want to get involved in that. <laughs> These are dark entities that come from other dimensions that are literally here to suck the life force and prevent the ascension of humanity. Okay? And my theory is that when you have a sociopath 
that's somebody that has a mental illness where they have a zero conscience and they want to hurt people and they just want to, it's like this feeding of energy that they get from hurting people and feeling them suffer. My theory is that when you have somebody like that, the reality is they're just completely possessed by a dark entity. I like to call them demons, okay? I know that's a little bit sketchy for people out in the world, but really a dark entity sucking the humanity out of, you know, basically ousting your soul and then taking over the human host, okay? The human body. And when you have sociopath that is, say for example, that, and a narcissist where they believe their BS so much that they will put down anybody that gets in their way, you have a scary situation. And I believe that this is what I was trying to figure out. This was the big question for me. How is it that half of this nation is glamored by this person who is so clearly mentally ill and so devoid of any moral compass or code that just vomits toxicity on every single thing he touches. It's not, you know, I mean, they could go on and on about his bad qualities, whatever. But I couldn't figure out how people could not see that, even without a gift, okay? Just by his actions and his words and craziness. And then I had a dream. And this was so profound to me because a lot of times, you know, even for me, my dreams are very symbolic and they don't make, they're not so specific where it's like so easy to see. So in the dream, and I have, I have disdain for Trump, and I hate to even say his name. I probably will bleep that out. I have disdain for this person because of the darkness that he brings to our country and to the world. So there's no love there. Uh, and I'm working on that because it's better for you to have love and not to allow this darkness to bring you into the darkness. That's the, that's the ticket. Stay above it. Stay out of it. But my realization about how people could not see it was when I had this dream. The dream was I'm in a black room. It was like a spotlight. You know who was there. And there's a door. And before anything else happens, I greet him and I'm immediately transfixed and mesmerized and like, oh, I was like one of those crazy cultists, right? And I was like overwhelmed and he hugged me and I was like, oh, and then he turned around to leave to go out the back door and he turned around to me as he was walking away and he made the most disgusting hand gesture and said the most horrible sexually disgusting thing about my sister and I immediately snapped out of my mesmer and my hypnosis and I was like oh my god he glamored me okay that's a term known in certain circles that is what happens when creatures like vampires that suck the soul and the lifeblood out of humans how do they get their victims to become victims and they have an ability to glamour people, okay? So that was the only thing that I could really think that was the reason why this country is basically half of them has gone to hell, following this demon to hell, like literally. And so keep that in mind because it's a powerful force that dark entities have over human beings. Remember, dark entities are not subject to or bound by the third dimension. So they have powers that go beyond many human beings because we are prison, imprisoned in the third dimension. Okay. So I don't know what the answer is and I have predicted an outcome, but in the middle of waiting for the outcome, I am still struggling so much, keeping my vibration high and my hope and my joy and my faith. And so I pray for all of us to stay in the light. I pray for all of us to come through this and through the pandemic and be lighter, more grateful, happier people, okay? And way more blessed. Praying for this for 2021 and beyond. And hopefully we'll get through the rest of 2020 without going to hell with the demon in the White House. Okay, so please subscribe. I'm trying to do this more regularly. I don't want to come in here and bring negativity. 
I am human too, even though I practice spirituality every day, I still sometimes struggle when there's so much negativity around. So keep the faith and please subscribe. And oh.